If you were, uh, could advise pre President Obama today, what would your advice be? I, I, would, I would first offer him um, gently and uh, benignly a criticism. And because I don't want to see it repeated. It took 178 years for this country to go from its establishment, 1787, until it recognized that government should deal with health care, 1965. Medicare, Medicaid. For 178 years, government had no role in health care, the federal government. And then Medicaid and Medicare. Why then was it so important that you do the health care right away? Notwithstanding you had the terrible economic problems and everything else that was happening around us. I think they made a political judgment to go forward with health care because he was extremely strong when he was elected. And they thought that using that strength, the strength that came out of the election, he would be able to nail it and to do the whole package. Well, it is incredibly complicated. As a governor who worked for 12 years, no, 20 years, because Kerry was very much into health care for all the years he was there, and I was there for his eight years, and then I was there for my 12 years. For 20 years working with health care, it's a terrible problem to deal with. Very, very complicated. So he shouldn't have done that. What you should do now, Mr. President, is, yep, yeah, do health care. Tell Nancy Pelosi, you know she said she can't get the votes for the Senate bill. Tell her you got to get the votes for the Senate bill. And do whatever you have to do to get a bill now. Now, you'll have to, it won't be the, the whole solution that we wanted. It won't take care of all 40 uh, uh, thousand, million people who don't have insurance. But it'll be something. That's number one. Number two. Uh, remember this, Mr. President, and, and we should remind ourselves of this. Whatever else, Mr. President, you are, you are, to me and to people who will study the record, burdened with more challenges in your first year than any president in modern history, including Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt came in at a time when there was a Republican uh, downturn in the economy that they got blamed for, and it was a depression, and it was a terrible thing. And then came the war, and those are two terrible things, except that the war solved the depression. What Roosevelt did with his programs were nice, but that didn't take care of the depression. What took care of the depression was the war. And so, in a way, uh, that they weren't two terrible, terrible problems. It was the one problem of the Depression, the one problem of the war, but the war absolved us of the Depression problem. Look at, look at what Obama, President Obama has. This terrible, terrible um, problem with the economy, the health care, the energy problem, Afghanistan, um, the all at once. And so he had a terrible, terrible burden to begin with. And all the more that he shouldn't have started with health care, he should have done jobs and incentives uh, for uh, stimulation first. Um, number two, he's going to be our president for four years. You're going to be there for four years, Mr. President. And Bill Clinton went through what you're going through now in his first year. Remember, he wanted to do uh, sex uh, in the army and services and uh, these things. Everybody was laughing at him. And they said he could never win again. He couldn't win in 1996. And he creamed the, the Republican in 1996. So you're going to be around. And uh, don't lose heart. And you're going to have to fight, Mr. President. And you're going to have to fight hard. First to get that, that health care bill, yes. But then to get the incentives. 
Uh, and when you do a bill this time that's supposed to get jobs, you'd better show the people how every penny goes to produce a job and not to take care of some political contract in Nebraska. You know, and, and you're going to have to do that. And, and you can do it. Look, Mr. President, you are the most burdened of all the presidents in modern history. But you are also the most brilliant by nature. And you're also the most eloquent. And those are two very, very strong capacities. What you lacked was experience. Well, you got a lot of experience in this first year. And, and, and so, uh, and, I, and I, think, I think you have done well, frankly. You have uh, reunited the United States when it comes to dealing with other countries. You've shown respect to other countries by traveling around and say, look, we don't think we are the hegemon that uh, should control everything. We understand that there are at least three hegemons. There's Europe, there's us, and now there's China, and China plus Japan, where they're getting closer. That's a whole other thing. And, and he made that clear. That's a very good thing he did there. And he did help with the, uh, the economic problem. Um, has he done everything right? No, I don't think he's done everything right. But no president does everything right. And again, no president has faced what he has faced. And you're going to have him now for four years. So you have to make the most of him. Another thing, he shouldn't be thinking about getting it all done in four years. You should be thinking about getting it done in eight years. Not because, not, not, not because you're going to be here for eight years, but it's like putting butter on a piece of bread. You know, you get a piece of toast, you put a big lump of butter on it, it's too much butter. You get another piece of bread, you put it there, smear the same butter over two pieces of bread, it's less offensive. <laughs> and, and that's true with deficits too. If you do it over eight years instead of four years, it'll take down the deficits. And that's the way you should be thinking. That it's not, you're not going to get it all done in four years, you're going to get it done in eight years. You can get enough done in your first four years to be elected again if that's what you're worried about. But don't worry about that either. Just play it uh, a shot at a time. Just make every basket you can. And at the end of the game, I think you're going to come ahead on points.